Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. It's Monday, Monday morning. I'm excited because today my song, Save the Day, will be mastered, which means it's finally all done and we can get started with promotion and everything. So let's head over to my mastering engineer and get that song mastered. All done with mastering. It's it's still extremely windy. Yesterday was like a storm warning. Stay at home. It wasn't that bad actually. Studio still looks all fine. Nothing broke. And whenever a song is mastered, I'm just happy for the entire day because it means another one of my works is finished. I can't change anything about it. I don't have to stress out about it. It's now purely down to getting that song out there on Spotify, promote it as much as possible and hope for the best. I just love that song. I can't wait to share it with you fully on Spotify and all other stores. It will be out in two months. First up is About You, a more vocal pop kind of influence song with really nice vocals that is more like the typical John Sion kind of guitar style. This one will be out on the 28th and like, yeah, can't wait. Can't wait to share it with you. Now, of course, since one track is fully done, I'm working on the next one and the next one i'm working on i can finally share with you at least a tiny tiny bit because now the contract situation is solved i got a new top line by singer and songwriter and it's it's really really good i'd say like top five of all of the top lines i ever got it's really highly inspiring me to to work more and do more and i'll play you a little snippet of that song at the very end of the video i can't still like fully share everything in the working process but hopefully once the payment is done the contract is done so maybe two three more days and and we're back to sharing with you what i actually do here in the studio and working on songs and there is like one more thing i would love to address because i was just sitting upstairs with the entire team and my label accents which i started like two years ago we don't we don't have any releases for it anymore there's like one more release coming up very soon very good and then there's like a huge gap because we do not get any demos i mean we still get demos but way less and the quality is unfortunately way less so if you have any kind of song ready and finished and you would love to release with us we can guarantee you as a label that we will double the place of any other release you ever had in the past Without a problem, good promotion, I'll take care of it. We'll be here on the vlog and everything. So first link in the description, just click on it, send us your demo. I or someone off the team will listen to it and get back to you. So yeah, hopefully get some more releases because like as a label, you depend 100% on the songs that you get submitted. And I know there are like a lot of ways to get your songs out there, DistroKid and everything which we also use for some releases or like more and more releases. We're still trying it out, but we still have a lot more experience, know the people in the industry. We get good Spotify playlist placements as well as YouTube channels for most of the releases and can this way get something started for you. But of course we need good songs. And of course, any kind of style is very welcome. Now back to, back to finishing the song, I mean, I like the idea of it. It really drops to nothing, plug is synth, and hopefully be able to finish it within the next month. Welcome. Thank you. Are you ready for pizza? Yes, of course. Insanely good. Pizza good for lunch pizza. tomorrow is that's good. It sounds like mm. diet. Yeah. But my pizza is healthy. Yes, of I course. I make it with my hands, so it's extra. <laughs> Pizza. 
pizza was good, really good. Probably the best pizza on the planet ever created, maybe, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's already, again, extremely late. When I already went to bed, I started producing, 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 and got totally lost. It's like four or five in the morning, the sun goes up in just two hours. I hate when this happens. I, I really hate it, but at the other hand, like there was good stuff happening. And I'm probably just working on way too many songs at the moment. The album is getting closer and closer to being finished. I have now eight tracks 100% finished, four that I'm working on still parallel. And then I always go back to the eight ones that are actually supposed to be finished and still change like small details. Because like during this entire production process, I'm learning new stuff. And I also want to adapt the learned stuff that I just figured out how to make things better also to the old songs. So I think I will just quickly end the video with like one last topic a lot of people have asked me in the past couple of weeks and that is how I actually get my vocals. And I already made a video about it a while ago. It changed a little. To be honest, like how I get my vocals is a very fortunate position I'm in at the moment. People contact me and send me their vocals or I contact people where I really like the vocals and I heard it somewhere else and I'm interested in collaborating with them and it just works. So out of five people I contact, it just works. I'm working with way more professional people. Everything is way, way easier. They have the same goals as me and not life distracting them, all of them doing it full time, which is a pleasure to work with. So it's either I get a finished top line or I send out an instrumental and someone sings a top line on top. Usually I send it then out to three to five people and one of them usually makes something that I like. If you're now asking yourself how you could get vocals and how I got it kind of started, I have to say the beginning and beginning are like the first three years were really hard. So I either sampled vocals chopped vocals, recorded myself and changed it in a way that it was like, okay. Then I used these songs and I released them. That's the important step. You need to release them. They need to be good enough to be released. And with those releases, you can then show the better singer and songwriters that you already released something because they want to have their music out there. If you can prove that you're releasing, you'll get them easier. And first you will get just shitty singer-songwriters because you probably also just make shitty music that's just the way it is i started the same way and then you prove them that you can have a little bit of success and then you get better singer-songwriters and even better ones and like you just work your way up naturally and in the very beginning just go for family and friends like the the very first person that sang for me was a friend of gordon wasn't a singer, didn't even want to sing, he just could sing a little, like tiny tiny bit. But I still made two songs with him, released them, and this way kind of convinced the next one that was a little bit better. And if no one of your family or close friends is singing, then just maybe try to contact people on SoundCloud. It might happen that you have to pay for it, usually for like a mediocre top line, maybe 200 to 500. For a good one, it's 700 to 1,500. And then if you're in the AAA Plus League, like David Guetta, the vocals are for free again, because everyone just wants to put their name on your record. I'm unfortunately in that part where it's really expensive. So I have to think a million times if I actually want that top line and the singer songwriters usually provide me the top line for a week on hold that I can work with it and see if I can actually make a song with it. And that's right now the phase I'm stuck in, but I'm, I'm really sure this song will turn out really great. So contract, payment, the vocal are mine and I can work on the entire song and hopefully share it with you actually right now in the in the outro so enjoy my new tune it's just like a day in work so full work and progress it will sound a lot a lot better but just the vocals are top notch